respectable to the judges, respectable to the audiences, and unforgettable to all of my friends as well. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Firstly, let's thank, let's thank the Allah who has been giving us some mercies and blessings and the afflicted and in this last place with the untroubled spirit of state. Secondly, my salawat and salam Allah be given to our greatest prophet Muhammad sallallahu who has guided us from the darkest era to the lightest era and the Islamic religion. My all of us can be shafaat. Amin, amin, amin. Find a happy audience. Prophet Muhammad was an honest son to perfect the perfect human morality in goodness. How not? Before the Prophet Muhammad was born on this earth, stability, evil, and misguidance happened everywhere. But I'm not here for telling my single story. I'm standing in front of you. I would like to present my speech and the title. Honesty is the beginning of all goodness. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Mary, and I'm the one of the delegation from Sultan Rajat Islam Holdings. Well, the happy audience. A person who, whose words are in, in accordance with his heart, then he can be said to be honest. A person who provides an explanation or refund myself with the actual incident, then he said to be honest. Honest opponent is a lie. That is saying something that is not confident or in content, in accordance with actual incident. Honest people will always provide true and relevant information so that he is confident and doesn't hesitate to say what he knows. And the life of an honest people will always work and determine something which, with certainty. There is no doubt in his action. On the other hand, dishonest people will perfect information that is confident in the life of people who are used to social to being dishonest. Will who are used to being dishonest will tend to hesitate in stepping and acting. Therefore, the best of order of these people to abandon lies and always and honestly. With the happy audience, in an offensive era like today, many people come in front in their work, as in trading. Most people go to hell because of fraud in trading. How not? They reduced this skill of their Mercedes, which was originally 10,000 to get 10 ounces. They reduced to 10,000 to get 8 ounces. More fraud in trading, such as hidden defects in their Mercedes. The profit once touch the cell of fruit seller and fall and under fruit in it. Then the prophet said, O oh, fruit seller, don't cover up the defects in your cells, sell honestly, and your work will be a pleasure. It, it's difficult for us to always tell the truth and always say the truth. But what's the harm in trying? It never hurt to try. If we are used to being honest, then it will be difficult for us to live it. Vice versa. If we are used to being dishonest, then it will be difficult for us to live it. So, you can teach it to yourself to always do good then. So that we avoid doing bad. Try to do it from now on. So that we can teach it to being good. Remember this saying, effort will not betray result. And result will not be appointed without effort. Whoever wants result without effort, then he is a lazy person. Well, the happy audience. I think what all I can deliver to you is all. I wish all of us could be success and prosperity. May all the Almighty continue to cover this blessed meeting with His mercies and protection. Thank you very much for your nice attention. If I have many mistakes, please forgive me. And that's I say, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.